So let me just show you. Augsburg, yep. the Partagas Capitolis. Now this comes in a special tin. Uh, of course it does. Do you want me to show you the tin? Yeah, why not? Show me the tin. <clears throat> I'm gonna. We're gonna go live, and we're not gonna really technically start the show until our boy our boy shows up. Oh fuck! Sorry, pardon my German you, or French. Are you, are you, is that French or German? I don't know. So, hang on. Bear with me. Let me show you. That's fine. You know, we got to get so the, these, have, the fans these, to know. So have I shown you these before? These are special. Um, I don't think so. No, that's very nice. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got mm. two more. I've got two more sticks wow. left. Wow, that's nice. Me. It's they've started to do what's called a new classic kind of edition and Romeo okay. Julieta. Uh, they they do a tin of Romeo Julieta. They do a tin of H. Upman. Okay. And there's one more. It kind of goes out of my brain. Um, but that goes. I thought I thought I would smoke. That's a good. It's kind of a fun sp smoke, if you know what I okay. mean. Okay. I know what uh, you mean. This is very exciting. You're going to smoke a fun smoke. We're very excited. But. Yes, but there's always a but, of course. So. No, the only but I was giving you is uh, I want, because these programs, in yeah. the nicest way, have been kind of extending for, sometimes they go over an hour, and, and I kind of yeah. feel a little bit left out with the smoke, because I finished my oh smoking my a little God. bit too early. You mean because you smoke it like a cigarette? Yeah, that's usually right. <laughs> smoke it like a cigarette, and I'm, <clears throat> I'm being, uh, well, I'm making an effort myself to smoke slightly slower. Okay, days. well, that's and good. I, and I, uh, but I'm not winning that effort. No, yeah, well, it's nice uh, that you're trying. That's the important. It's the thing. Try, it's, is it the trying that counts or the getting there that counts? What, which well, one is it? I, I think it just depends on who you talk to. So, you know, in your case, I think just trying is 90% of the battle, so we're very happy for you. So, you know. So we're good. But today I'm going to smoke a, a non cube I'm going to smoke a cane. So I'm very excited about it. Trying is for pussies. Oh, it's God, pussy. here it's we for go. pussies who never win. Oh, I tried. It's the mm. effort that counts. Fucking get there or don't get there. What's the thing? That's how know? I look at it. Look at like Winston Churchill said it the best. Which is? Which was? Oh, you really want me to think something that he said, huh? I like Winston Churchill's the best quote he has, and I have it on an ashtray that says, I drink too much. I eat too much. I don't sleep enough. That's why I'm at 200%. That's very good. Yeah. Bill, so I read the history. So I read a great book f five or six years ago about Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. Walter Isaacson, written by Walter Isaacson. I have a relatively sure. good memory for books. And one of the things about Da Vinci was that Da Vinci was sleeping five, 15 minute intervals. Yeah, so did Einstein. Einstein Same. was in a chair with two balls and he would drop them. I guess those were his attendants. But anyway, he would drop them and then and he would, would wake, wake him up. up. And he would wake him up. Yeah. My so, God, such a traumatized well, existence. Let me just make a note to the, the fans. Usman's actually going to be here. The other, he's now technically the princess. Um, it's not like this is a surprise. She, you know, he gets 24-hour notice, then he gets a 48-hour notice. So it's not like Princess shouldn't be here. So he should be here in the next 13 minutes, and we'll actually have a cigar show. Right now, we're just I, I think he's probably trying to work out how to do his tie. Wins or not. I, thought he, was or, I uh, thought he was taking more Viagra like last week. So That's hard. <laughs> I know. It was very. And then and that became a short, and that short did really well. <laughs> Uh, OJ, 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 uh, uh, Lahaim, and thing. also Gio. Gio, Gio. I would like to thank the Centauri Wine Company today for uh, my nice glass of Centauri. So it's Centauri time. Thank you, Centauri. Uh, hashtag Centauri time. Now this one, I've been smoking since last night. Yeah, are we st are we uh, gonna light up? Why wait for? Why wait for him? We'll just light up. Should I light up? Bear with me then. Uh, All right. So weird habit that well, it's, it's my habit. Yeah, if I'm smoking a cigar late evening, and you keep I'm it, kind of, and I'm kind of running out of steam. Yeah, I save the last. You told me that week. last week. Yeah, yeah, the last third for breakfast, and it's a great. Uh, for, honest, I I couldn't care less what anyone says, but I enjoy <laughs> reliving can that I, moment. Can, the I, next can day. I just say something? When you talk about breakfast, it's one o'clock in London. It's seven in the morning where I am. My breakfast this morning is a scotch and a cigar. That's a breakfast. But that's because you're a real man. Us pussies oh. here, yeah. That that's, okay. this, is, this is the way we roll. All right. But but, but Stephen, you're a class uh -huh. act. You mm. really are a class act. It's because I don't wear pants or underwear. 
So I'm naked. The neighbors That's called going commando, isn't it? Is I, it not? I, it's called something. It's so called for, something. The fan, for, the, for the fans that are just joining, Usman will be here momentarily. Um, he's learning how to tie a tie, and he's making sure he takes the right amount of Viagra for after the show. So just bear with us. He's probably watching this going, I'm going to kill him when I get, get on the air. Sure. Shall I light up? I'm, I lit. I'm like, I can't wait to, for the, uh, the uh, oh, excuse me, yes. Mr. ST DuPont. So, uh, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to run out yeah. of uh, uh, fuel halfway through this light up. Why? So Why are you gonna have above fuel? the visible flame is the hottest mm -hmm. part of the flame. So we just get a gentle toast going on there. These are just. This will be joining, join, he'll be joining in three. Three what? That's awesome. Three hours. Yeah. He, Three. Well, I didn't. I didn't get that far. I just. I, he said he'll be joining in three. So we'll see if he joins in three. If any lawyers are present, that's uh, mm -hmm. uh, non-committal. Committal. Mm. All of Wisman's fans now are starting to watch the show. Should so I tell Wisman... everyone what, what, what I'm smoking? What you're smoking? So I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having out of the tin. Ooh, that um, sounds kinky. Uh, I like what's it. It's called a Partagas Capitoles. Oh, look at it. that! Yeah. So they come in a tin of five uh elegant smokes that and this tin is sort of pocket shaped if you've got an overcoat mm -hmm. with it or with a larger mm -hmm. pocket just slide the tin in there if you're walking around london the rainy right. streets of london or the there foggy streets of london yeah pull out the tin generally just bite off the end of the cigar light up right and, like a beer man around. yeah just yeah. so you know I, I usually don't pull out anyway um so yeah it's one of those things okay very nice so i like it. you're smoking a part i'm smoking a non-cuban this is this is this i've already lit it and it comes with this nice little band i know david likes when we show the bands it's a cane made by um drew estates i think so there you drew go estates. drew yeah, estates so, in miami well, that's in miami, miami. And, and i will tell you that their their brand is a good little smoke here and there i mean like i'm not so far had a bad drew estate cigar their pigs are good um, these are good. I've, I've enjoyed my my Drew Estate cigars. So kudos to you, Drew Estates. You guys do really well. Thank you very I think much. It, I, it genuinely is. It's down to taste. It's what it's mm -hmm. what you've enjoyed smoking. Uh, I like uh, cheap hamburgers. I'm that kind well, of person. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'll be nice. All right. So Usman will be here. When Usman joins, we're going to actually technically start the show. And Usman, today we're going to take questions from the fan. Um, depending on how many show up, because it's early in the morning here, but late everywhere else. And you can tell us what cigars you smoke, and we will tell you what we think of them. And if not, we'll just tell you the cigars that we like and not like. And what, the, what day? What day is it today? Today, the real day is Saturday. The real day is Saturday, and it is actually Saturday. And we're going to uh, rebroadcast this in three hours. So yeah, it'll be Saturday, straight and straight. So, so if hmm. I can give you a little bit of feedback on the Capitolis, yeah. This is, I would say, in my mind, a sort of a medium to going towards slightly more than medium cigar. A lot of people call this a full body cigar, right. um, but um, you get a f you do get a flavor hit. You get some. I get cedariness. I get uh, not mm. not not dry cedariness, sort of a sweet cedariness, and um, it is slightly complicated in the way it develops. Um, right. uh, I won't preempt it. I'll be smoking it and tell you. I've had maybe 30 or 40 of these Capitolis. I smoked them a lot last year. Oh. And I just picked up a packet recently, um, uh, a few days ago. My problem is when I pick up these tins, I kind of work my way through them. They don't like hang around. It's like yeah, yeah. I've got a tin of five cigars. That's, that's five morning smokes that are gone. Gotcha. And, uh, and then you have to, um, uh, well, I have to work out what is my, the bigger cigar. So the, what I'm basically doing these days is smoking two-ish cigars, sometimes slightly more than two. It veers into three or four, but two-ish cigars, a morning kind of cigar and an evening okay. cigar. But the problem is with the evening, a great evening cigar normally happens in great company. And then mm. it turns into another two or three cigars after that. So um, you have to pick and choose your moments, I guess. When, but, um, when I used to live in Palm Beach, I would go every Saturday to my friend's st shop it called the Smoke Inn. So, Abe, there's a shout out for you. Send cigars. Um, but I would go there and we would smoke two or three or four cigars at a clip. 
Um, so it's nice. So everybody, the, the Samalne has finally joined us. We're going to really technically, now we can start the show 17 hours into it and he's disappeared. So, uh, that was, that was, that's called a that guest appearance. It, that's, that's a, a guest, guest appearance, appearance from Samalne. That that's was a, very that's nice. a guest appearance and yep. uh, uh, it's uh, flashy. He's in mm. and out. Mm. Um, that's why he has like, five kids. They, so. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what we're going to do? Because he did make his guest appearance. And technically, that means we can do this. This is 2OF Entertainment. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show. Exclusively on 2OF Entertainment. With over 100,000 YouTube subscribers. And rapidly growing Where's to be the most brother? watched and podcast cigar show broadcast globally. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show. Exclusively on 2OF Entertainment. Hey, we're back again. Now we're really, now we're really live, technically. So all your fans was, on Instagram you now can it, watch. You missed it. During the title sequence, I was blowing lots and lots of rings. I can't I saw. blow them anymore. I, I saw that. Ring, 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 ring. I saw. I heard. Oh, you saw. You, you must have caught the last one just, just floating out there. I've, I've, had, I've got this dream of blowing a cigar ring that goes all the way to the other wall and just dissipates. Hmm. Oh, okay. So that was a great show. Um, yeah, thanks for showing up, everybody. Uh, next week, we're going to discuss. <laughs> is that nervous is it... laughter? Is that nervous, nervous laughter? Yeah, uh, that's not a nervous laughter. That's actually an ashamed laughter. For me, you mean my laugh? Uh, mine, mine. Yeah, your laugh, should you should be ashamed. I'm, I agree with that. Yeah, because last, last week, you took a bottle of Viagra. You had to go to the doctor because <laughs> after four hours, if you, you got to go. I read, I read it. And this morning, at least... Um, you took the right amount of Viagra. You just, mm -hmm. according to Riza, you couldn't figure out how to tie your tie. So uh, we waited for you. So there I you couldn't go. tie my tie. Look at it. Look at it. It's, I see, the, I see it's that, a non existent yeah. tie. I was going to wear my tuxedo again, but. I sent it for pressing two weeks ago. It hasn't come back. Well, I, yes. I, I, I remember somebody actually pushed us. We should be dressed in suits mm. and ties. So wow. there are leaders and then so there these... are followers. And, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and, exactly. and there's, there's so all sorts I of people on this planet. Exactly. I, I yes, you do. And look, can I tell you, this is really for all my Pakistani, Indian, and Asian friends that I wear the Mandarin collar. So there you go. I do that for you guys. So. No, no, no you're, I, you're the villain from Doctor No, aren't you? I, I know That's that. Sort of that is very true. Movie. Well, I did wear a tuxedo last week, and it was just um, Riz and I. And I was dressed in my tuxedo, and I, I look wow. good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I always look good. There you go. You what was, what is someone remind me? What the, what is the etymology of tux, tuxedo? Is like a Mexican word, is it? Is it not? Or tuxedo? I have no idea. We can look it up because yeah, it's, it's like... actually a dinner jacket. Actually, it's a dinner jacket. But mm -hmm. for some reason, in fact, Usman, Usman, Mister Hackett, extraordinaire, will tell us what's the difference between tuxedo and dinner jacket. Ooh. Because in the cigar smoking vernacular, this this uh, this form of dressing. Crops up from time to time. What what is it? What is the difference, sir? Ouch, 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 ouch. Well, yeah. Well, he's 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 caught me off guard in that case. So you know, I prepare for the cigars. I don't prepare for all of this. You you, you, you don't prepare, prepare for this. clothing. Surely we yeah. talk around yeah. the subject. Surely we have a little bit of a bigger <laughs> scope than than dried leaves. Been dry leaves. I saw oh. your tweets this morning after oh, I got yes. done working out, and it's all about look at these dry leaves. Can you believe this? This is crazy. That's, Who would called, pay for that's, that's, called, that's called pre pre cigar tension. Before I've lit up, I have this yeah. tension about right. cigars. And you were you were, you were like sitting right opposite Davidoff of London and posing with next to their window, and you still have. Uh, that... No, I wasn't sitting. I was standing. I was actually just passing by. Wow. And I, I've always uh, now now you, you know they sell umbrellas. Yes, they, they, do. they do. They do. They sell they expensive. Do. They sell expensive umbrellas they do. and expensive uh, uh, walking canes. Yes. Uh, and I now, love them, by the way. at first sight, at first sight, yeah. the question that's posed is: Where is the? Where is the? Uh, the? Uh, um, uh, the? Uh, the oh, I've lost the word now. Where? Where is the rationale for this? And I think the rationale is generally, if you are an upstanding gentleman about London and you find yourself caught in the rain, you will need an umbrella to continue smoking your cigar. That's all I can work out. That's the so only thing I can work out why a cigar shop, apart from accessories and cigars, sells 
walking. So when I worked on when I worked on Wall Street a, a million years ago, when you would leave the exchange, if it was pouring rain, the guy who had his umbrellas for five dollars, when it was pouring rain, went up at the 20 bucks. And well, he would he sell you those little umbrellas. Yeah. So there you go. Was I'm just saying. He, and we would spend yeah. five bucks. Not yeah. 500 pounds for an umbrella. We're well, men. That's a good oh, question. Yes. That's a really good question, Stephen, because hmm. I was just asking a friend before I came on this show. Uh, my, my plan is to venture into Davidoff on this Monday morning, so the day after tomorrow, to yeah. actually what? peruse the umbrellas. That's my plan. Are you going to take pictures of your show? Are you going to ask Eddie and his dad to do a show with us? Well, if someone if someone's there, if, some, if, if Eddie or his dear father are there, I'll, I'll, I'll obviously go and say hello, but I had this in my mind. I, I, I was going past Davidoff's shop three or four days ago, and I thought, right. really? I've never really actually browsed the umbrella section. It would be nice right. to and uh, see see what crops up and, and see if there is any symbiosis between an expensive umbrella and a decent cigar. And I was hoping I, for Usman to give some guidance on this. But, Usman right. but apparently to, he can't. Uh, apparently he can't do that. So, Usman, before well, we start the show I, I, and, and I beat you I up on this. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't know that the topic has immediately moved from tuxedos and smoking jackets to the umbrellas. Okay, mm. fine. Well, you, 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 you went a little bit quiet on the tuxedo versus dinner jacket, so I thought I would just help you out, just carry the conversation along whilst you had time to process, think, and Google the difference between <laughs> a tuxedo <laughs> and a dinner jacket. No, about 350 pounds, my friend. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, the difference. The, the, so listen, the, if the, you the do. Thing is, I ha, the, yeah. the thing is, I have not even lit my cigar. And you're asking me questions. And I've been driving like a maniac for the last 35 minutes. So you need to wait uh, for it, my friend. I will answer your. But you, but you are questions. looking like a class act. You look. You, like yeah, you, you. you got the you, tie on. Yeah, you're you well look presented. Beautiful. You do. Let me just say that, this. That you was look, the 15 minutes I asked for. Yes, and you got it. And just so you know, you look so beautiful to you. That's important. Oh. I think so. Oh. Can't you see? <laughs> thank you for how beautiful. Thank you for completing the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really just talking in a sh in, in music in a music in a show in a music thing. Yes. You You're are so riffing. beautiful. You're riffing. Yeah. I'm riffing. I'm doing something while he's figuring out what cigar he's going to smoke. And we all got our emails well, this let's morning. See the cigar, David. Let's see the cigar. Let's see the cigar. Have you, have you, have you officially group. begun? Have you officially Dude, we, begun? He, he, already did the first time. he did titles. Wait, when you came in the first time and disappeared, we were like, well, he was this here. Now the we show. can start the we're show. <laughs> ah, okay. Fair enough. Got it. Okay. Right. So, gentlemen, yes. my choice for today is Ooh. Trinidad. The, mm. the, the, the small Fundadores, or as we call it, Trinidad Rias. Nice, very nice. Uh, can, can 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 you can you see the pigtail? Yeah, well, here we'll take another picture. Sure, I can see yeah. the pigtail. Yeah. I can see the yeah. pigtail. Reminds me of a girl I used to date. But anyway, wow. um, that's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> she had a pigtail. What can I tell you? So right. And for I'm just Usman, saying. he didn't see it. Usman. I'm on a capitalist today. I thought about what to smoke. What's wrong? What's thought... what's wrong with you? I just, oh. Yeah, I just, for some reason, I enjoy, I forgot, I hadn't smoked it for maybe, you know, a year or so, 20, and I started smoking it. This is a good <laughs> afternoon cigar for me. But the problem is, it's going to go off like in 10 minutes. What are you going to do for the rest of the 50 minutes? I'm trying, and this is a measure <laughs> of it, I am trying to smoke more slowly. I'm losing that battle, but I'm making mm -hmm. an effort. And uh, call me a loser. <laughs> We do, that, right. we, we, we do that anyway, whether you're here or not. Why don't we do one thing? If it, 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 it finishes in 20 minutes, I'll light another one. Yeah, yeah you guys just going to say, I'm in, smoking in, today. In, in Alex Cigar Dandy's world. Yeah. If you see that. Yes, we do. No cap. No cap. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> look at that. That is beautiful. And oh, look, Riz just showed up again. Hey, what happened? Nice that you're back to oh, the I was here. I never went anywhere. Mm. Really? Okay. If you say so. Okay, I'm gonna win. We, we gonna believe winch. you. We've got one. We've got uh, from time to time we have these Wi-Fi issues. We've got to f work out a way of how to eliminate that. We all have to live together. That's it. I see that now. We all have to live <laughs> in the same mansion, smoke cigars, drink scotch. You know, I carry the same umbrella and wear the same. And carry, right. We're oh, gonna buy shit. one. We're gonna buy one umbrella from the Davidoff store in London, and we're gonna have to share it when it rains. So it's gonna have to be like a big golf umbrella, so we can all fit under it. Mm -hmm. I love my golf umbrellas. Are you kidding? My golf umbrella, ah, I can put, I can open it best. up and my cover, it covers my I have just calculated the difference between, in my head, 
Okay. Didn't Google anything. The difference yeah. between a dinner jacket okay. and a tuxedo. Now, do you do you Here's mind? Do you mind, do you mind? Do you mind if I if I answer your silly questions? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's just took the gloves off and just bitch slapped you. Wow, that's well, uh, well, it, well, good thing we're friends. The the the. The thing is, he's 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 been missing me for the last two weeks, so I had to. I know, I could tell. Yeah, wasn't he supposed to be in Pakistan the last two weeks? I'm just let's, saying. Let's let us let us not go to that topic. Okay. <laughs> Didn't you let's drive like fifty hours in the mountains in the country to be told that when you were twenty minutes from his brother's house, he wasn't there, and you had to turn around yeah, and you yeah. were late for the show? Yeah, I'm yeah. just checking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, okay. Hap- it's, it's happened for quite a quite a lot of times now, so I don't mm-hmm. even. So I'm gonna I'm gonna only drive when I get a physical confirmation of his arrival in the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. I'm, I'm, Usman, Usman, I'm certainly not gonna announce it on here so that everyone mm. can see. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right right hey by so, the way Raza, before you go into your thing i will announce that next week i will be in seattle washington for business meetings so if you're a cigar shop owner let me not i was gonna say knock me up but that's a uk term but knock me up <laughs> so i know i know where your shop your chemist shop mm-hmm. is and i'll smoke cigars in the evening there and um and and you'll send the bill to rizza and uh, i think Absolutely. that's good okay there you go i like it all right <laughs> Raza. yes sir all jokes aside and the pun in, and and no and no pun intended this time we would yeah. really like to be enlightened by your vision and your wisdom on the difference between a dinner jacket and a smoking jacket or no, a tuxedo well, no, or a smoking no 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 no, no no the different no no the di- the smoking jacket is a diff- is a different area mm. as far as i know the dinner jacket was invented on Savile Row by Henry Poole and Sons. That's as far. That's my recollection, right. and it okay. was done to replace the tails that gent- upstanding gentlemen wore at dinner, so it would be easier for a slightly mm-hmm. less formal version of a dinner suit. And dinner suit used to be Fair tails a hundred, a hundred and yep. twenty, hundred and thirty years ago. So they would mm-hmm. wear a slightly less informal dinner jacket to dinner that they could right. sit on more easily etc etc my understanding is tuxedo which is more of a, a u.s centric invention is mm-hmm. like a dinner jacket suit but for more occasions for formal occasions other than just dinner that's as right. much as i know and i've done that mm-hmm. through pure logic and calculation i may be completely wrong but in my head that's correct Right now, if I am allowed to answer your question, you, you want to put him on mute? As well. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can answer the question in your mind if you prefer. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. but, before, but before I do that, I must say this is one hell of a smoke. Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling it. That's good. You're feeling something. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> tuxedo and smoking jacket. Tuxedo is generally uh, a term used for a two-piece cloth or a two-piece setting, which includes a jacket and a trouser. And when it comes to smoking jacket, it is practically the jacket that you're wearing. No, 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 not smoking jacket. I'm going to interrupt. It's not smoking jacket. We're talking about dinner jacket. Versus wasn't tuxedo. the question? Wasn't no, the question? Dinner, wasn't, what's it, what, no what's one mentioned smoking yes. jackets. No yeah, he said, "What's the difference jacket. between dinner, dinner jacket, and a tuxedo?" Was uh-huh. the question. That's oh, the then, difference. Then I, then the I, smoking then, jacket then is specifically go, there to capture the smoke. Then I, yeah, then, 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 then I don't need to answer. You've already answered the question. Oh no, but the, I think that's hypothetical. That's just pure, pure deduction, as far as I'm concerned. I don't oh, sure, I know I'm, the real answer. I'm, I'm not very. I'm not very certain about the answer, so I would refrain saying something wrong live and being... I will, I will refrain. I'll just make up the answer, which I did. Yeah. Did you great? See, we, we, we lack the ultimate wisdom you carry, my friend. What are you talking about? All right. Here you go, boys. It's actually just that it's... <laughs> this is going to be great. I asked, I asked um, ChatGBT 4.0, what is the difference between 
a tuxedo versus a dinner jacket? And here's the answer. It's actually just in the name. In the United Kingdom, we traditionally say dinner jacket, while across the pond, I guess that's over here, um, we say tuxedo. But now you'll find it called a tuxedo more often than not. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of dinner jacket versus tuxedo. So we could just make up the rest. However, yeah, you, can, you can say whatever you want to no say. No fun. Yeah, no fun, man. No fun. No fun. Hey, listen, I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right all right so, all right. so, so Raza, you're, you're, smo- you're smoking a Partagas Capitols I'm smoking a Rias Steven what are you smoking I'm smoking a cane I'm a, a red label cane from oh. the Drew Estate yeah I got a little cane going on today and we were talking about that oh. you know before that, you were is late that, is that, are you sure is that from Drew Estate because I thought it, isn't, not... isn't cane from Drew Estates no no sir Who's it from? Kane is by Oliva Cigar Company. It is by Oliva Cigar Company, and it is okay. uh, 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 one of the sisters of Nubs. So the That's, Nubs. Well, I hate the Nubs, but I love the Kane. Box of Nubs, yeah, uh, yeah. like the thirty-five white one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, which means that if you if you try the Nubs Maduro, you yeah. might like it because the Nub Maduro is very close to the Kane. They're all so, okay. so Nub comes in Connecticut, Cameroon, uh, Maduro, Habano, double Maduro, and the sixth one variation in that Nub uh, sampler pack was the cane. And there are two different Very nice. Well, I will tell you that I like the cane, and the president of yeah. Oliva Cigar Company and I apparently are best friends because we're linked on LinkedIn. Um, so I'm surprised that he doesn't reach out to me every week and just be sending me boxes of cigars for me to prostitute here globally. Stephen, can I give you a, a little suggestion, which is a, a slight promo, mm-hmm. but it's also a suggestion? Right. Of course you can. The community of cigar smokers that's kind of that, apart from, you know, all the Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram, yeah, yeah. is Cigar Keep, which Usman has got me onto like a couple of years ago. You should get sure. on. I don't know if you are, but you should get onto Cigar Keep. I think I signed. I, I tried to sign up and, it, and you they're, should. they're I, no, no, I tried to, and the website sucked. I couldn't, I couldn't get in. I couldn't do stuff. So I will try again. So I will try to sign up again. Really? Yeah, I had oh, a real I, problem because you sent me I, the link. I was with a friend last night who. who I, I, I'll send you the link because yeah. it might be some issue because yesterday uh, a friend signed up like it was less than a minute to sign up, and then he even updated a couple of cigars in his keep as well. And I gave him okay. a quick rundown of, and it was like five minutes and he was up and running. So All what right. I'll do is I will send you the link and I will send you Please. a little tutorial if need be. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll sign up and I'll be part of Cigar Keep. Mm. And then that'll bring another two or three fans to the, uh, to yes, the show. Sir. So, but yeah, cool. well, I put it out to our, our well, private I, fan I, chat. I'm guessing, more than, I'm, I'm guessing more than that. Right. So yeah, we do. He's, he's had a bad connection. His gerbil died. Um, so, <laughs> but so, ooh, what do you want to talk ooh. about today, gentlemen? You, your connection goes in and out sometimes. So, you know. Usman, can you oh, enlighten me? Since I, I let, let's talk in terms of relevance. Yeah. Recently, I've been. What's smoking. the topic for today? What's the topic for well, today? Well, I'm, 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 I'm. That's what I'm coming to. I have been no. smoking. All right. I've been smoking quite a few regional editions of Cuban cigars. Okay, so so okay. typically you'll have like a France edition or a special edition. What are all these editions about? Are they worth the extra money you pay the, for them? No, he's lighting right. his cigar. Okay. He's, th- he's thinking. <laughs> no, that's a very interesting question. Uh, Habanos. <laughs> Habanos has... Habanos has a regular production cigar, which right now I'm smoking. Then okay. Habano, and you are smoking. Habanos has uh, again there are three or four different variations of 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 their ranges. So one is the La Casa del Habano, or the LCDH editions, and the Habano Specialist editions. Uh, then they have these regional editions. They have the limited editions, and then they have the reservas and grand reservas, which are also special releases, along with some. Com- releases and all of that. Now, the regional editions are fine cigars, specifically created for 
used for a specific uh, region depending on the distributor's requirements from those countries. Generally, to commemorate something, uh, it can be a birthday or an anniversary of one of the distributors. It can be some event going on, like for example, if you're talking about the Juan Lopez, uh, which what is this? This is a Swiss, uh, yeah. So this is a Swiss. So I'm just giving you a, an example uh, of a typical is, is red band that reason. goes on a regional edition, and that's what they look like. Let me show you again. Yes, sir. So there you there's go. There's a Swiss edition. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very nice. Okay. Right. So you'll get right, now different that regional asked, editions like this. Now that you, you... Mm. Absolutely. Now that you've asked the question, I would quickly... <clears throat> I think I think he's gerbil dead. No, it's... it's um... I think where Usman specifically right. sits. Gen yeah. I think. I think. Next week, Usman is joining us by can you hear me? machine. We can hear you. We just don't see you. So uh, it's the best of both worlds. So what there happened? you go. Now we see you. No, you disappeared. <laughs> cheeky bugger. Right. Cheeky, Ooh, cheeky see. bugger. I just like to Very see if people are listening. Right. I know. <laughs> Who? 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 Hmm. The well, cheeky bugger. We were just talking. When right, you disappeared for a few minutes, we talked about a cheeky off, bugger. Uh, the regional editions and... Right. I understood. I completely understood. Right. So so, okay. so, since we're talking about the regional editions, uh, first let me show you a few of the cigars now with different brands. Can I get some exclusive... Yes. You have exclusive close-ups now. Going on. All right. So, gentlemen, these... these Thank you very much. So now, now if you see, right. if you see, this is, this is the Kedorse uh, exclusive Libano, which is called right. the Kedorse Balbex, uh, which was released for the um, the Phoenicia. Now this one is Juan Lopez Exclusivo Qatar, which is known as the Juan Lopez Hat Trick, which was released in commemoration of the FIFA World Cup that has held in uh Qatar. Qatar, right? This is, is one of those one one of those very exclusive and less found cigars Diplomaticos uh Asia Pacifico known as Diplomaticos Bushido which was released by PCC uh, the Pacific Cigar Company. <clears throat> this is the Punch Asia Pacific and this is a Kuwaba Asia Pacific. So these are all released. The Asia Pacific ones are released for uh, Pacific Cigar Company, which is the distributor for the southeastern side of the world. Now, if mm -hmm. you would have noticed, as Raza mentioned, all of these are white and red bands. Uh, and, and, and the core is this, is this is the uniqueness of how to define them and how to see that this is a regional edition cigars. Now, regional editions, as I said, are to commemorate uh, different occasions, different uh, uh, anniversaries of different areas and re regions. And uh, the fact that these are made in specifically numbered boxes, uh, they, are, they are also limited in nature when it comes to their availability. Uh, right. Most of the cases, I mean, there, there are certain very rare ones as well. I mean, I, I know of a few boxes a few of those cigars, which was just like 200 or 250 or 500 boxes released only, which makes them super rare to find them. They are some extremely, extremely fine quality cigars uh, as compared to the regular production for sure. Uh, if you're talking of the times like four or five years prior to today, uh, today sometimes I feel that the cigars, mostly different regions, different bands are coming to be slightly lesser in terms of, of their uniqueness and, and mm -hmm. the profile, but <clears throat> that is still there. Now, okay. uh, the other part is that there are certain cigars, there are certain brands in Habano's portfolios which are not long fillers. For example, La, For La Flor de Cano, which is in Habano's portfolio, a short filler cigar. But whenever it comes in a regional band, <clears throat> excuse me, 
it is a long filler so contrary to the original ethos of the brand and since it's a regional brand so it is created that way the pricing differs brand to brand uh and 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 that's uh, the the other difference in terms of how the regional editions are uh perceived and kept accordingly one of the other things is that they, they are for a specific market and hence are and are and are hence supposed to be available in and that becomes a collector's thing to just hunt for them get them for your own private collection or to smoke and sample and and that's what makes the limit uh, the regional editions a unique cigar one of those extremely extremely uh, famous or 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 like cigar in the recent times has been the eldo la rena which came in a box of 24 and was a lancero released for the united kingdom a few years ago and 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 is considered to be one of the very highly sought after cigars uh then there is a very interesting cigar which i really liked and raza didn't which came a couple of years ago which was ramon ayones private stock 230 so 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 they 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 are like these are these are the regional delicacies so to speak in terms of the habanos portfolio and 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 are some fine cigars uh to savor on Let me ask so you this question. So basically, so basically if someone is new to regional cigars, <clears throat> it's a question of first of all hunting mm-hmm. them, so their rarity, I guess. Yes, mm-hmm. uh the inaccessibility, yes. so yes. How do I get hold of a cigar that's for the Lebanese uh, Lebanon market? That's one thing. Second of all, the different kind of blend and the fact that you have yes. to hunt for them and they're, they're they're produced in limited numbers uh, or numbered series, the rarity, mm-hmm. I guess. The, is probably why yes uh, or probably the major reason why you have to pay more for them anyway mm-hmm. that's a scam mm-hmm. they just they, they just charge more cuz people are stupid enough to buy it let's just be real so here's my I, question though i don't though. think so i don't think so <laughs> i i think i think i think there is certain quality associated with this artisan product there we and, go and the rarity of that artisan product is right. self evident in the pricing If you don't want to smoke it you don't have to pay for it really. Well here's my que- here's a question though. You buy one of these rare regional cigars whatever it no. may be. Let's say no. you bought the one for Cutter for the for the FIFA um you know that, that, whatever. But, but, but would you smoke that cigar then or are you going to keep that cigar forever because it's valuable? Well then the, then the, then the, that differenti- differentiates a few different types of smokers. There are some people who are collecting them because mm-hmm. they want to collect them a bit, a bit like people who collect wine and they'll never really drink them right right there's another there's another type of person who's collecting them to age them and then smoke right. them 5 or 6 years or 10 years later or whatever and then there's a the kind of person like me i get my hands on it and the next thing you know i've smoked it right. uh, and and i think the smoking is the the release of the oils the fine oils yeah. from these dried leaves that gives you both the aroma and the taste I'm very much into my Habano cigars. I think that it's an excellent excellent pastime. All right. I'm gonna, that's it. so a new here's a uh, right. collection that's so, coming so, out. So I so Steven. Go. Yeah. But no, go ahead. I was going to tell you about a new collection so, coming out, but no, go ahead please. Up? What's coming out? Wow, we can't talk about what's coming up, but I can tell you about a collection that's coming out. Um, so the um, the Davidoff company Thing. is you know how they have every year they come out with the year of whatever. They are coming out with a 12 box collection of the year of cigars. So there'll be I think 12 cigars and for every year for the last cool. 12 years. Yeah, and I actually that, that actually I got, is quite cool. I actually got an email from them yesterday and I put my name on the list. um said if you're interested let us know so i sent them an email and said okay i'm interested we'll see if davidoff gets back to me and and tells me the price of it or whatever i've smoked their year of cigars they're okay i mean they're not the best smoked they're not the worst smoked but they're okay but because of what it is i thought that would be a very cool thing to put in the humidor and just have it and smoke one like every year for the next there's 96 cigars in the collection so i have 96 years to finish it so i'm very excited so yeah So we'll yeah. see what happens. So, we'll see if they get so, back to me. So 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 that's Yeah, the, the pricing is pretty pretty expensive on them. 
<clears throat> right. Uh, and 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 uh, it itself is a humidor that they've created that red magical thing, and yep. and then those twelve boxes of eight cigars each uh, for that. So I think yep. I think it's it's going to be a very unique and a collector's edition and a collector's piece when it comes to Davidoff. Having said that, um, I I am a very big fan of the Year of the Tiger. Yeah, I, I, I really have a couple. The Year of the Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, I I really like the Year of the Rabbit. Unfortunately, so far I've not enjoyed the Year of the Dragon. Uh, okay, I don't know. Yeah. That that was that was something which didn't really resonate me from that angle. Right. So well, so yeah. I, that's, 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 for that off, I have the Winston Churchill hat, which turns into the Winston Churchill humidor slash ashtray. So I oh, have that. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's beautiful, right? It's made out of ceramic. It's gorgeous, and it's and I got it when I bought um my my Churchill late evenings, and I was like, they gave it to me as a gift, and I thought that was very nice. So this one because I am a, somewhat of a Davidoff fan. I'm not a fan of everything they do, but I saw that and I was like, that yeah. would be cool because every year, like I'm like in my birthday's in February, hint, hint, I'm not saying anything, gentlemen, that you forgot my birthday. Anyway, 29th, um, 29th, 29th of February. 29th 30th. February. It's the 30th of <laughs> February every year, just so we're clear. Um, so the 30th. There and, you and go. What's your, right. and, and what was, what was the first school you attended? The first school I attended school of rock. And so your, there you go. Right, just getting all the questions. Like, yeah. Let me just make a note. <laughs> yeah. So, and where were you born? Pluto. I mean, yeah, I understand. And what's yeah, your yeah. mother's maiden name? <laughs> yeah. Slits. So there you oh, go. By the way, on this topic of these Davidoffs, right? I've yeah. had conversations with, um, well, I've had a, one conversation with uh, a, a good uh, cigar smoking buddy of mine, Christian, who runs Tom Tom Cigars. Sir, yeah, get that plug and in. I was, mm-hmm. I was doing this as a suggestion, but I don't know if it already exists or it doesn't exist. Yeah. I said, why can't we have so, uh, sort of like collector's jars, okay? Collector's jars. So if you're really into, they have I them. don't know, the Italian edition cigars, for example. Yeah, yeah. Like he's Italian, right? You get a jar which contained Exclusivo Italia, right. regardless of Vitola and brand. Right, so right. you would have like 20 cigars in there, different cigars that were all right. Exclusivo Italia, or a jar that were all Exclusivo Qatar. Because then you could smoke or collect your way through one region or keep yeah. adding to it, if you know what I mean. Just, That's very just, cool. You know, if you're going to do this whole collecting thing, like collecting baseball cards or collecting, right. I don't know, uh, Japanese, yeah. what are these you know, these characters that, that people... Oh, anime. Around? Anime. Yeah, yeah, these characters. So if you're going to do the cigar collection or we'll smoke right, through right. them, I thought it'd be really good. And it's actually a value-added exercise to collate those regional cigars together in a jar or a box. What right. do you think, Osman? Osman, do you think that's a workable idea? Well, Osman will be back after this identification. I, identification. I, 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 that's Osman's thinking a long time about the answer on this one. Yeah, I think he was abducted again by aliens. So is that is that a, is he on pause or is he just no. thinking? Um, I I think his uh, feed is uh, a little stuck. Here he goes. He's coming back. He'll be back. Here he comes for the people on the podcast going, what the heck's Simple, going This on? is like a 1960s broadcast where we've got someone mm-hmm. coming in live via satellite. We've got the, sort of the hizzy. Look at that. Look, we got the Usman there. There we go. Not, we don't want to see him twice. There you go. Okay. Look, I have four back. smiles there. I know. It's very cool. He's still, are you still stuck? He's still stuck. This is- Hello. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. How you doing? Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm great. Yeah, so when the UFO was passing, what were you saying, Raza? So I was saying, you know, the collect, uh, collecting uh, regional editions, regardless of its solar size and mark or brand, yeah. is that a workable yeah. idea? Is that something that do you think people would collect? It's a very workable, it's, 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 it's a very workable idea. Uh, not for me, because people like me do not wait. I mean, I got, uh, as I said, the mail call last night of two of the different regional editions and i couldn't wait uh and i i started smoking them from last night so it depends that'd be a hell of a product those... that'd be a hell of a product a jar that just was like a a regional edition jar for qatar and it just contained qatar sticks yes yes like it Ita- Ita- italian uh cigars have mostly come in jars so for example there is a Ramon Ionis uh, Noelas, which comes in a very similar jar 
to this H. Upman Noela's jar. Uh, Hold on, let's get a close up of that if you don't get abducted again. There you go. Yeah, so so this is this is uh, H. Upman Noela's, which is uh, La Casa del Habano stick, but in Italian case, it's a very similar looking jar, uh, which comes as the Ramon Ionis Noelas, and that is for the Italian regional. Then one of the most exclusive brands, which is now discontinued, uh, is La Excepcion. That's uh, the one. So That's the one La I want to smoke. Excepcion has two. Yeah. So so there are there are two different cigars in that. Uh, I've 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 been fortunate to get Don Jose uh, to smoke, but I was also able to get the Don Jose box, not the jar, because jar is more of a collector's. Item, uh, but I've seen them. They look really pretty. So uh, similarly, China has a, a Bolivar uh, regional edition, which was done for China. Very pretty looking jar. Similarly, um, uh, so so there, there there are a lot of uh, these jars which are coming up for regional editions. But primarily, the jars have always been either for the vintage collection or for the travel retail series as well. Osman, Osman okay. can I ask you another question? Since you're sitting in Pakistan, you're very Pakistani. I'm very Pakistani. I'm dual national, but I'm very Pakistani as well. When is there going to be an exclusive of Pakistan edition? Yeah. When is that ever going to happen? You see, just on the critical questions, Osman goes into... Use, the the, the UFO day. flies back over the house. It's the Pakistani yeah, there government. Yeah, jamming. There is a jamming signal. Yeah, jamming is, I agree I with feel, that. Yeah. I feel that the... Uh, I feel that Habanos are, are censoring very sensitive information, sort of tidbits of information. You get the tease, but you don't get the answer. Yeah, and, that's true. Uh, there he is. There's a good pose for Osman. If mm. I would take a photo at this stage and sit there. I wonder if I can. And There he is. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. No, he's going to be coming back in and out. So uh, everyone's in it. There we go. Right, well, you know, that's why he's got 26 kids. Come on. So, all right. Well, he'll get back to us. So... But it, I do like the idea of I'm, my problem is I can't like I bought some very expensive cigars that you're supposed to keep and collect. So I'll buy like five of them and I'll smoke one and I'll be like, oh, I really like this one. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, yeah, I can have one more. I kind of like you. No, you just have one more. And then I get down to the last one. I'm like, yeah, big deal. I'll just I'm, smoke I'm it. like so, that. I buy yeah. a packet of uh, biscuits or cookies yeah. or sweets. Yeah. They yep. just kind of just they just. It's like Pringles. Mm-hmm. You know, when you pop the Pringles, they just they just kind of dissipate. Yeah. I'm like that. I'm that kind of smoker. But there's but also the other, people But the, the other thing which is interesting, I try uh, my pre embargo Cubans, the ones from the nineteen fifties and sixties, are in their own special humidor, and I do not smoke those. Those I just enjoy looking at the flavor. I've I'm only smoked the one from time to time with a wet nappy. I fondle I guess I fondle that and other things. But um when I fondle my pre Cuban embargoes. They're wonderful. And I've smoked, I had about five. Remember I showed one day on air, the little H. Upman in tube one that everyone was like, oh my God, it was like so beautiful and blah, blah, blah. I've also, I have like 10 of those. I smoked one. It was a delight. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to smoke any more of them because I really want to whatever. And then I had a auction house offer me to buy them. And they were offering like real money. And I was like, no, I, I just, I like them. I like to know that these were, before I was born, these cigars were around. So to me, there's something. Ago. Yeah. So I like that. It's beautiful. I wish, so, yeah. I wish, like, I remember my father smoking in the late 70s and early 80s. I wish he'd started collecting dried leaves at that point because I would be sitting yep. on, on, on a pile of them right now. Oh, uh, yeah. But, but you know, they're, you know they're, there's the kind of smoker that has to smoke them. Um, well, and you said something very interesting about your friend, I you. think it was last thank week. You. Well, yeah. Was, well, you know, once he year we we give you credit um but you said that your friend's collecting a stick for every year that his son is yeah, born yeah, that, that, right that was, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's actually a very cool idea actually because you i like can that. Pace yourself you can actually pace yourself you know <laughs> yeah but no i like the fact that you could buy like i'm gonna put this away from my son or daughter if you will and when they're 18 they have a collection of 18 cigars to do with as they wish some will be worth something and some will still be worth the seven dollars or 50 pounds that you paid for them some will what be a worth like. To give, what a present you know, to give uh, if you have a son to give your son yep. when he turns of age. Is that look? There's 18 sticks, or mm-hmm. depending which country you are in, or age of right. smoking. 21 sticks. There's 21 yeah. sticks, and each stick comes from each year of your life. Now, yep. 
Yeah. But that's, that's, that's a really that's a really cool thing. But a, that's a big investment of foresight and time. You know what I mean? Uh, so start collecting. But if you if someone watches the show now and they're in let's yeah. say their twenties or thirties and they and they're going to have a baby, and they're like, you know, that is a really cool idea. Then like they, you know this is twenty twenty four and their wife or girlfriend or mistress or sugar baby is pregnant. They can all buy the them. first cigar. All of them. All, all of them. Then you got to buy four cigars. And, and then you... Mistress, you then it, there will be a wife involved somewhere. Right. That's right. Somewhere. Usually a wife. And then you know, if there's a sugar baby, there's a mistress and a wife and then a girlfriend. It's a whole thing. But if yeah. you have a baby so with one of them, a collection, you're collecting cigars, you collect women, I guess. But if you collect your cigars, this way, and when your son are, is 21 years old, you literally can give him a humidor or a box, however you want to do it, with 21 cigars or you buy him a box every year of his life and when he's 21 he has 21 boxes of cigars by then they're all vintage uh, have you got any jars have you because those jars they lend themselves to collecting cookies later on have you got any <laughs> um no i wanted to buy one once and i was talking to the guy we buy stuff in hong kong from and i called him and said dude i want <laughs> that i forgot it was one of the habana ones i said i want that jar and he's like we just sold the last one like an hour ago i was like dude Aww. you're killing me and it, came, it had a whole bunch of beautiful. What jar, what jar was that? Cigars. I don't. It was like what ten years ago. I don't remember. I don't know. I wish right. I could remember, okay. but I okay. can't. Be before, be before I forget, I have I have mm -hmm. a request to make uh, for the next show, and sure. that is that now that you've spoken about that pre-embargo cigar collection of yours. Yeah, yeah. Why don't Why don't you enlighten us with that? I can show you the cigars. I'll do it. I'll, yes, I'll do the please. show next week from inside the office, though, because I'm not going to schlep them outside. So next week I'll be inside the office. I'll even wear a tuxedo for that, and I will or, pull them or out. Or even a dinner jacket. Well, no, I'm. I, yes, I can. I wear a dinner jacket in the <laughs> studio, and I'm going to. I'm going to get a monocle. I'm going to wear white gloves and a top hat, and, gloves, and there you go with a cane. That's and, that's, uh, that's, yeah. that's 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 the Kirby uh, Allison influence. Oh, yeah. uh, you live so close by that there's some mm. some sort of. Uh, Yes. Uh, you know, uh, meta metamorphosis going on. Uh, uh, well, you know what? I would, I want to meet Kirby like one day by, I mean, we do live close and we do now we're, we, we message each other, but I wanted, I do want to meet Kirby like one day when he doesn't think anybody's going to meet him. And I bet he's in a pair of shorts and a flip flop and a t-shirt. And I'm be like, dude, come on. Like, you know, <laughs> you need to always be dressed. Like when you see Jimmy Carr out, Jimmy Carr mm -hmm. is always in a suit. Even if Jimmy Carr is okay. playing tennis, he's wearing a suit. So I like that. You know, what? it's like Jimmy Carr really doesn't wear. He wears a suit no matter what. He goes swimming. He swims in a suit. Jimmy everyone, Carr is every, everyone in a suit. these days, everyone these days, consciously or unconsciously, is what this term is called cosplaying. If you yeah. cosplay long enough, you become that character. And Jimmy Carr has become that character. Jimmy Carr has become that character. I, I, yeah. it's, it's just a character, but because he's been doing it such a bloody long I time, know. he's become it. I know of someone who used to say it, fake it till you make it. So uh, there you go. It's it's like <laughs> so 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 that that's yeah, the thing. So uh, you in, know what? In, in, in uh, Kirby's uh, case, I... in Kirby's case, in Kirby's case, yeah. Just so that to let you know, uh, there is something very cool coming up on Cigar Keep, and Kirby's bringing that up because right now, as we speak, he is in Mexico with one of those extremely eloquent and 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 really really. Amazing collector of Habanos, Max Gutman, wow. who was the okay. hombre Habano from the early 2000s when, when Habanos was also new uh, and, and, and in the business category. And he has a business uh, in Mexico. So uh, and, and the kind of Mexico. updates that we're receiving. Yeah, Mexico. And the, the kind of updates we're getting, I'm, I'm really excited on the next episode in the article coming out at Cigar Keeps. So, yes, that should be looked into and yes you should meet now that you're so close that both of you live in texas uh given the fact that texas you realize texas bigger. is because the size of like i was Europe. gonna say the size of pakistan <laughs> yeah no, no, size of pakistan. Yeah. i was gonna say exactly the same but yeah i mean uh, but still i mean you guys will figure it out i'm sure about that we will we'll figure it out he hasn't yeah um like i said i was invited for a cigar smoke but i was stuck in meetings in austin um, and even if i jumped on a plane i would have been there very late and i had meetings the next morning so i said kirby Next time, invite me and I will be there. So we will get together and we will 
post it on Instagram or do a quick interview with Kirby. I'm, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Um, and then we'll go from there. So it'll be fun. Yeah, having, 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 ha- having said that, I was waiting that someone's also going to join us on the show today. Yeah, wasn't we having a surprise or something? Someone said, yeah, oh, I'm going to bring a surprise. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Right. And, I, and you know what? Uh, what? Mea culpa, as they say. I thought the show was yesterday. We're aware. And you know what's really funny? Right. And, and, I, and, accept- I, and, and, that's, and, that, and by the way, that's a very genuine statement. Both of you saw me typing fr- frivolously. I'm yeah. ready. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Ready <laughs> yeah, to go. yeah, we know. I had someone lined up, but that person won't be lined up today. So I will really? have to line that person up for next time. Thank you. But what's is funny that- is because I'm I know that you don't you have an elephant like a, or a memory like a goldfish. Um we discussed we'll do Saturday <laughs> mornings. Sorry, what did you say? That's what I thought. Um we figured we would do Saturday morning because the fans Sorry, can what did watch you say? And enjoy. There you go. So, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. good thing I can just mute and whatever. Um so yeah, so yesterday I was I was doing I was in a meeting and I'm seeing all these text messages and I'm like, you know, he's and then said and then so I wrote back, I go, you know you accepted the calendar invite. For a Saturday. All I thought, you know, you know what? When I saw this calendar invite, just this is yeah, a very yeah. off the record thing. All I thought yeah. was you changing the time from two o'clock to one o'clock. Mm. It hadn't occurred to me that you changed the day. We discussed we're going to change the day for the fans. I know. We discussed I know. Put it down to ago. dementia. Put it down to. There we go. I know. Whatever. Listen, it may you be, you yes. missed. I'm, I'm sure you. Saw, I know you Alzheimer's, watched last week's show because you the, the you literally Alzheimer's commented on every. I, I know you watched last week's show because you commented on everything. So yes, he's sir. going for that sympathy. He's going yeah, for that sympathy I mean, I mean, part again. <laughs> no, 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 my, 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 my only, my only question is: of all yeah. the things, you could come up with Viagra for me. Like what? A, I, 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 didn't know, I was. I, on, <laughs> I didn't know you. Listen, I didn't know you were going to be late to the show. And then we, right before we go live, Riz is like, "Did you see the Texas from Usman?" I'm like, "No, I literally am just like getting putting the live button on." And he's like. He can't make it. And he told me the reason. And I read the text. And that's when I texted you. And then so we didn't want to tell the, the real reason um, uh-huh. why you weren't going to be here. So we used the Viagra reason. So, you yeah. <laughs> know, that's fine. Yeah. No, and you're and, 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 off with a special guest. I will have that special guest lined up. Don't worry. OK. And by the way, we want to thank your wife because the check did clear because she said if we did say well, Viagra, that's she was going to write the you, check. You for- <laughs> I, I didn't hear a word. I didn't oh, hear a word. I didn't hear a word. What, what did you say? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I, I was going to say, oh, aren't you missing? It's already almost around 58 minutes. You're missing the special person that was supposed to be always on the show. Well, you. I'm glad you preempted that primarily because just before we came on the show, I saw the trailer for the movie The Apprentice. Here we um, go. No, in a very serious way, I'm very, very interested in watching, Mr. President, I'm very interested in watching this movie because I think Donald Trump <laughs> has not, has got issues with this movie. Uh, he does. In different ways. Nevertheless, as an entertainment value, I really want to see it because I, I think the guy is onto something that many people are missing. He's just a bull in what, a china what shop. Movie is this? What, is it, what movie is this? It's the the oh, new right, Donald right. Trump Let's biopic the the movie. Shop on the side, what movie is that? It's the new Donald oh. Trump. It's a it's a it's a biopic that. movie about Donald yeah. Trump, and I I think it's called The Apprentice. Yeah, it got very bad ratings and, in the Financial Times. Yeah, oh. and 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 I've and I've seen documentaries about Donald wow. Trump. So I can't re- I can't remember the name of the guy, but Donald Trump and uh, was a kind of apprentice to his lawyer, who was a very smart. Art. He was like Cohen. Very, his name very, was Cohen. That's right. Very aggressive, very yeah. smart, and so I mean, Donald, I find Donald Trump a very, very interesting character. If you read around yeah. Donald Trump, you can see the influence. Whether it's Citizen Kane, whether it's yep. his father, whether it's his lawyer, you can see that there's a character forming out of it. And I find that very, very just from a creative perspective. If you see the ingredients that the sculptor has to work with, yeah. and what the sculptor comes up with, Donald Trump is. I hate to use this word about Donald Trump. But he's quite predictable. You can see where that's where he's come from, and therefore yeah. that's where he's going. Um, There's a book called it "He's Can't Predictably Happen Here. Unpredictable." Let, right. Let's say that he's predictably unpredictable. There's a book called "It Can't Happen Here." Um, we had a guy named Guy Standing on our show, Lost Dollar Business Club, a few weeks ago. He's actually going to be on this coming Friday. Um, he's a world famous economist, and he said, "There's a book called." Um, it can't happen here. So I got it and read it. 
and it literally is Donald Trump to a T, even about the shooting, the attempted assassination. It's in. It's like you read this book it's, and you're like, oh, it's Donald Trump's playbook. It's a bit of a circus. It's a bit of a circus act. I mean, Ronald Reagan's popularity went through the roof when someone, what, what was that guy who tried to assassinate him? Berkeley. Uh, William Berkeley? Buckley? 80, Buckley? What yeah. was it? 81, 82? Was it 1980? Like 82. I think 81, so. 82 or 83. 82, yeah. Right? And, yeah, yeah. And Sorry, the assassination attempt in itself is a badge of honor because it means you're worthy of having an assassination attempt taken out. Trump's had two attempts. Trump's had two attempts. He had one at the golf course in Palm Beach as well. But I think, oh, and I think he has a little bit of a charmed life. And I'm not talking about money here, right? Yeah. Okay. The guy is a survivor. Now, whether, uh, however, he, you know, there are infamous people and there's famous people and there's all sorts of. Uh, super villains and the anti-villain oh, yeah. and whatever, whatever, whatever gradient you have. The one thing that Mr. Trump misses out on is a decent cigar. And I think that would have just taken him to, through the roof. Oh, well, in that case. Um, but you see, we've invited him on the show because you're such a ask. I mean, you're such a fan of his. Um, we've invited him to be on the show. Um, and they, uh, they don't want him to come. He was been, he's been on every <laughs> YouTube. He's been on every YouTube channel. Show a fucking Look. interesting character. I right, uh, well, just if you were to write him into a book, he's a fucking interesting. Character. He is in a book. It's called "It Can't Happen Here." I'm telling you, no, get I'm the book about and read a fictional, it. A fictional book. That is a fictional book. It was written no, in the a 30s. Book that, a book that doesn't exist. That's fictional. Okay. Wow, that's really fictional. Like a fictional, <laughs> fictional book. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. But if you really, if you really want to read it's, it, it's, read it's, 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 it can't happen the, here. It's, it's a good book. It's the Razaya version. Hmm. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. It's an AI version. Gentlemen, so we got that going for us. Yeah. Gentlemen, how, how, how are the cigars smoking so far? My cane, I, I, Oliva makes a good cigar. Either they're not, they're, I know they're non-Cuban, so Mr. Snooty doesn't like it. But the cane is a good cigar. It's a beauty. I like my cane. I like the Oliva Vs. I'm a very can happy I, guy. Can I relate a really bad experience I had? With Oliva cigars. Sure, because I'm going to tell the president of Oliva. About, it's not good with a cigar. Before, before, it, before, it's the moment. Before you, before you, before, Reza, before you, before you even say anything, I would say I am 100% with you when it comes to Oliva cigars. I don't like them. Really? Go for it. Well, 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 well yeah. it's, I, I love, it's, I love it's subjective. Love you know, uh, no, no one should really get hurt by my words or anyone else's words when it comes to cigars. We're just talking about dead leaves here at the end of the day. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what shit. I'm... What, so I can had... we can we can we can we stop his switching mode between the AI and the expert Raza? Yeah, really. He's just, he's it's just, like when he goes to the, it's like a glitchy when, kind of moment. When he goes sort of to, when he goes yeah. to the loo, the AI kicks in, and then when he comes back from the loo, he ha, really ha, kicks hash, in. Hash, hashtag bipolar cigars. There you go, bipolar cigars. That's a good brand. Right? Which I'm, which I'm a cool not. Brand. Which I'm not. But but what I like to do, what I like to do, and perhaps this is to do with my education and upbringing. I like to see both extreme sides of the argument, right? And if right. I can see both both extreme sides, I can exist somewhere in the middle and pick my side. If I if I was if I was if I said that this is the best thing that's happened on this planet, I'd be wrong. Right. So I I have to kind of. This is a new in a sense of humility. Keep a measure of what it is I'm smoking, what I'm paying for it, and trying to appreciate it from that perspective. Sometimes I don't appreciate paying a hundred pounds for a shit cigar. Sometimes right. I like appreciate. Like sometimes, miracles, some right? sometimes I appreciate paying twenty pounds for an extraordinary cigar. Sure. You know, no, uh, wait. Uh, and, so why and, don't and you, you like get, you, get, you get the full range? But unless you go yeah. through the journey, how do you find out? So right. with the with the Oliva brand in itself, I smoked maybe six or seven of them sort of in the summer last year, and this culminated at a tea tasting event. Okay, at a tea tasting event, fine teas. Okay, okay. and that event single handedly put me off drinking tea. Okay, uh, that, that that was the net result, and I had what? a whole jug, a jug's worth, a jug uh, in America. What would you call it? A pitcher. A pitcher's pitcher. worth, a pitcher's worth of fine tea, no sugar, no milk, nothing, a sampling yeah. teas. And I was smoking this Oliva cigar. I promise you, I had the biggest blood, no alcohol involved, the biggest hangover the next day. And I can't work out whether it was the tea or the cigar or the whole bloody combination. But that's what happens. If you don't enjoy something, it sticks. And that's, mm. you know, that was my put off moment. I maybe. I will be casually smoking one of those uh, cigars after a really fine meal and really enjoy myself and think what an idiot I am for not having, 
indulge myself in olivas. But I'm open to that. Right. I'll bring an olive in. Definitely, definitely nothing. To, definitely nothing to do with the teas. I can say. Because tea, tea is one of the best bearing tea. No, but t- milky, milky sweet tea, cigars. milky sweet tea. Yeah, no, I'm not but talking, this was. I'm not talking of the milky. No, 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 no. If if you if you if you know, the torcedoras and torcedores in Habanos, uh, in Cuba, use tea as a palate cleanser, and that's without milk, without sugar, and anything. It's just black tea. So, so, so tea is a, is is a very very good pairing when it comes to. Not a, cigar, not a picture of it. Not a picture of it. Not, not like two liters of it. Well, well. Anyway, I'm sure, well, it left. It left. It left. Picture of one tea. Proverbially, the, a nasty taste in my mouth, and I did not enjoy that at all. And a hangover. Fair point. Fair point. All right. I think yeah, it was that, the tea. That would have come from the olivas. Yeah, but I can. But I can. I yeah. uh, Usman knows this. I can go a different direction. I can talk about one uh, Cuban cigar, which Usman specifically this Cuban cigar, and he mentioned it before. Was that uh, Ramon Olones, uh Private Stock Two Thirty? Private Stock Two Thirty. Hated, right. hated, hated. Hated. Can this you please cigar. smoke it once? Can you can you please smoke it once more? In a normal circumstances. Well, in the reverse please? direction, uh, like uh, like the other end. No, 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 no. Yeah, like the other end. No, 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 no. Yeah. The only the only the, the way when you're not drunk. Yeah, no, when when you're not drunk on uh, desperados, can you please smoke it then? And you would really know. You would really just, know. It's just an accusation. It's, a, it's an unfounded no, accusation. Uh, well, I I have the I have the video evidence of that thing. How can I say it's an accusation? Well, it's, it's AI. It's AI generated. generated. Even even <laughs> yeah, saying yeah. they're just words. I have video evidence. Never seen any video evidence. We could put it up here uh, if you'd like. Up where? Yeah, of oh, course. On the show. On, on, yeah. on the show. On the show. We can put it on the show. All you have to do is download and hit. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Okay. Doesn't okay. Exist. No it, problem. It really Steven, doesn't exist. Steven, Steven, I, I, I challenge like, you. I, I dare like you. won't been, find it. It's just rubbish. Say, it's nonsense. And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not egging you to do something. It there we go. Exist. These are just words. This is Steven, mythos. I feel I, 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 I am, I am up for taking this challenge and showing the video in the next show. So that yes, it please. is already available with you, and it just just for the sake of it. Here's what you do: you take the video, send it to David, and David will get it in the queue yeah. for the next show. And then when we bring it up, we'll just hit a button, and the video will pop up, and we can show of course. the video. And, and actually, you, you'll also be, actually, you'll also be that... able to see see the amazing shaking moves of Reza. Oh, we gotta watch party. that. Yeah. What, what, yeah, me right. sitting quietly in a corner about to vomit because I had a, a, that, a, a that, 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 private stuff. That, that was that was like after once you were done with all of those moves. <laughs> this, this is this is um, in the words of the esteemed gentleman that we mentioned earlier. This is fake news. Oh my god. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. You know, I don't know if Donnie's... I know Donnie's people watch the show because we get emails from them. You might as well just have him come on the show. If Mr. You want Trump, Dwight... Mr. Trump, now this is the yeah. first time I'm saying this. I'm saying this. Okay. Mr. Trump, you know, you don't have to come on the show, right? We can have a word in private about this, yeah? But... I have a question. Do you think he doesn't come on the show because it's a Jew in two Pakistans? Maybe he's prejudiced. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, maybe that's why. From every, from everything I've heard from Donald Trump, I don't think he's prejudiced. I think they're just words. <laughs> he's prejudiced. Yes, <laughs> I got that. I think they're just words. I think he is a discombobulator in chief. I okay. think he knows how to rile people, turn their key, rile them up. Yeah. You know, so did a guy in the thirty, in the late twenties and early thirties. Yeah, 30s, but then he had a little mustache. Then, but then he, but then he actually embarked on a campaign, and look what happened to him. <laughs> Donald Trump is a survivor. He's still out there, still out there. And I think he is. I think there is some serious thinking behind those eyes. I I honestly, honestly, for me, the jury was out for a very long time. I thought, is he, is he, is he, is he really smart? Is he a complete idiot? I've come to the conclusion that this is a really class act is a classy person talented person he knows what he's doing he does everything to upset people but then he comes out with a solution as well no he doesn't 
Give me a solution that he's come up with. I can't wait to hear this. What's the solution? Give me a solution. Uh, I've heard of the final solution. Some guy in Germany did it in the thirties. That didn't go well. What's that, John? That what's, well. that yeah, what's, Don, well. what, what's Donnie Trump's solution? Watch this space. Let him come on and explain himself. I won't, I won't <laughs> explain what's going on behind those eyes. I won't explain what's going on behind those eyes. Right. Yeah. Okay. But, I'm not saying Miss Harris is any better. I'm just asking. I'm just saying for democracy, she's probably better. Oh, they're, they're all corrupt. They're all power self -serving. Oh, no, no. All... Listen, no, I got that. I'm okay with that. I understand that they're all whores. And I'm okay with that. I'm a whore too. I'm an investment banker. We're the oldest profession. I get that. What I don't understand no lawyers, is... no lawyers. No, if we were talking circles of hell, lawyers come right at the bottom. They'll, they'll, they'll change size depending on who's paying them, right? Okay, so right, right. that is the lowest of the lowest of the low, right? Right. Uh, let Donald Trump come on and give his own piece. We couldn't ask him any real questions as people won't let us do that. Well, we'll see. We'll wait. Well, he won't even happens. come on, so it doesn't really matter. And maybe after the election, he'll come on because you've been a big fan. Maybe he'll be like, if it wasn't for the show, he wouldn't have gotten elected because Riza helped me get elected. Well, and look at that. Usman, already... Usman is left in protest. This is a protest. Remember, movement. Usman got abducted. By the secret police. So, so go, there he's I coming. See, I can see the light. I can see that. He's coming back. He's coming little back. Circle of hell going there around. We go. around, around there around. we go. Finally, he made it back. Congratulations. We're I was going to ask you on that note, on the Oliva note, I was going to ask you yeah. what's your worst cigar experience? Which one of us? Either of you. Which? Are, what is your singular most, the worst cigar? Like you've had a cigar, it made you sick, it made you throw up, you hated it, whatever it What was that? JFR, JFR. There you go. Right. There you go. Censored that's, that's... again. Again. Yeah. Censored throughout. There's a. There's a. There is a. And, and notice, you and I don't get censored. Well, you know, that's because we, we, we don't. We are. We're good people, and it's the way it yeah, works. We stick. We yeah. stick to the facts. We talk about wholesome people. Donald Trump, for example. We talk about. <laughs> uh, we, we read the think. script. We read this. We read the script. We read the script to make sure. We play. We, we, we follow. We follow the the pattern that has been set. We yes. Know. We read this. We read the script before the show, so we know what we're doing. So I just love it when he gets stuck like this. I I can imagine the people on the podcast because if they're not watching the video, right? They're driving their car and they're like they're waiting for Riz Usman to give his statement of something, and then all of a sudden. There's no wisdom, and it's just us. And the people that are watching are like, "What the heck?" So I think I in think it's show. hysterical. No, in, the show. Back. In, the, in the show, in the show, in the show. I know, right? I, we would. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, he's back. Let's see how many wisdoms we can get on our screen today. You uh, said scream. Here. You said scream. Is that is that another scream. word? No, That's you scream. said scream. You said scream. Scream. That's because uh, six six glasses of scotch. I, I'm, I'm screening. So <laughs> what time is it for you there? It's right now it's eight eleven in the morning. So I we started at oh, six fifty eight. I had my first scotch <laughs> and um I lit my cigar. So no, here's a question. You don't mean your first scotch, your last scotch of the evening. Because uh, yeah, I, I was just gonna say yes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I, I, that was my last scotch of the evening. Now I'm on my first scotch of the day. Um That's right. here's a question before we leave, and we'll see if Mr. Usman um comes back. How many cigars typically do you smoke in a day? It's now got to about two point six okay if if i look at a week i've smoked mm. between 15 and 20 cigars in a week what's about yeah kind of like me i used to smoke more like when you can smoke indoors at offices i would smoke throughout the day i would be in my office and i would smoke cigars constantly but but you know when it comes to all these exclusive cigars and the top end cigars these are like yeah. Once, maybe, maybe twice in a week. Really, that's not, it's not fair yeah. to constantly just burn it away like that. Yeah. It's like these go to cigars are the, the standard production cigars, slightly the, right. the, the smaller. I mean, like this one, this Capitolis, it's just a fabulous cigar. They're getting, yeah. they're, even these are getting expensive. These are not necessarily expensive cigars, but London market, wow. everything is expensive. Yeah. Everything is just tax, 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 yeah. tax. And it's a luxury product, so I guess the, the manufacturers and the purveyors of these products are like, "Oh, you really want to smoke a cigar? Pay for it, like pay properly yeah. for it, right?" Yeah. But it's not fair. It's not a. It's not a. It's not. I, I don't believe it to be a fair or well priced industry. I think, I think this industry might 
conceivably hit a bubble sometime or throw a bubble burst moment. Sometime. Well, they did that in the 80s. I remember in the 80s, everyone was smoking cigars and it got to a price where they priced themselves out of the market and then everybody stopped in the 90s. And then mm. they were like, oh, we can't sell, you know, $250 yeah, but what, cigars but, but, and they dropped yeah, it down. No, but one of the things that's changed about cigars in a big way, especially in the last 10 years, especially I've seen this in the UK and I think UK is a very good measure of the way cigar smoking has gone. It's become more of a, a, a lifestyle product. So it's associated with the car you drive, the clothes you yeah. wear, um, the, the umbrella you carry, if you carry an umbrella from Davidoff, right. uh, the watch. you It's its very part of a lifestyle, if you know what maybe. I mean. Yeah, maybe. No, I know. I've definitely seen that in, in the US. And, well, no, no, believe... and if you look at if you look at YouTubers such as Kirby Allison, right, right. Um, uh, Aaron Sigmund, um uh and there's there's jasim in, in in the uae and there are others uh they're they 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 started out as sort of cigar ambassadors but they've now turned into lifestyle ambassadors they have right. product they have other products uh accessories clothing ranges right, uh right. etc 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 which is fairly smart on um the part of their part companies yeah. well not just their part but but the original pushers of the product of the cigar products like habanos yeah. and all the other non-cuban cigar producers they said right okay how do we keep this cigar lifestyle going well we have to make it lifestyle so this right. is another example of that lifestyle thing the oh, yeah, dupont yeah. lighter now the right. dupont lighter 15 10 15 years ago was a kind of a rarish kind of item. You would have like a gold lighter where there was a right, Dunhill right. lighter yep. or there was Ellie Bleu that was coming out at that time. But Estée Dupont has been around for donkey's years. But yeah. now, if now if I showed you the range of lighters that they make, it's extraordinary. It's like, again, yes. it's this collect all of them. There's a Batman lighter. There's a, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a, a Le Mans lighter. There is, a, they, they've now teamed up with um uh a company called Casablanca of out of, of Par Paris which does clothing and they do sort of mm -hmm. like so there's a lighter for just about everyone there's a lighter for every size there's a there's sort of a, a delicate lighter if you want you know like excuse me like cigarettes with it or right, right. there's there's a whole range of things going on so cigar smoking is much more lifestyle than it is purist these days exactly. I'm, I'm still a pu I'm I'm still the purist yeah I there's a place because, yeah I, I like a, my cigars. And that's it. Yeah, well, no, I know, but I mean, well, but I, I'm more of a, if, this is what I enjoy. And if, even if we didn't have the show, I'd still be smoking my cigars and having my scotch. It's, that's my thing. I've been doing and it for Osman, so long. And Osman will correct me if I'm wrong. The purest way of lighting your cigar used to be with a cedar, sort of like a mm -hmm. split end out of your box or, or uh, dedicated yes, cedar. Yes, you would sir. light with, you, you would light with a cedar. Now you need, you know, you, you yeah. need one of these. You know, you don't need it. But this is that lifestyle continuation of, yeah. of that product. Now, uh, uh, if you're on the London, uh, and if you want to be really purist, right? Can I be very honest with you? I, it's the word rare doesn't really apply to this. I almost never see anyone lighting their cigar with a cedar. Ten years yeah. ago, you would, you would, you would have some cedars and you yeah. just light your cedar and then you don't yeah. do that. And Osman will, Osman will uh, testify to that. When we used to do deals in Australia, down uh, in Melbourne, you know, we'd go to the Hyatt, and the Hyatt girl that with our cigars would light them with cedar. And that, to me, was just the beautiful old world to, of a to, cigar. Today, even, today, even, ideally, all the people who are sommeliers uh, in all these cigars, in cigars and all of those should light it with the cedar because part of the sommelier training how light uh that's 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 the kind of test what he said even if for the habanas world challenge one of the test what 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 one of the one of the tests is uh to light the cigar with uh, cedar spell nice. but you don't see it you you, you don't no. i i don't i don't see it i mean uh, uh as you know i frequent tom tom quite a lot right tom tom have got like dedicated cedars yes Still, no one lights with a cedar, and um, actually, yeah, even yeah. in talking about it, even in talking about it right now, I'm going to make an effort to start lighting my cigars with a cedar. That'll be cool. We should have a lesson on how to do that because most people don't know how to light their cigars with a cedar. 
Yeah. Why don't you do that, Osman? Let's, that's let's that's that's, that next that's a tick list yes, item sir? for you for next week. Let's... Please light up with a cedar. Yeah, let let's do that next time. And the re I would say it's getting less and less. But even sure. the yeah, sure. That as oh, yeah. as 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 a global community, we are losing. As a global community, we are losing. We're patients. losing you. Yeah. All right, next week we're going to light with patience. cedars, everybody. We're patience as well. But mm -hmm. let, let's all three, mm -hmm. if we are able to, let's all three light with cedars. It's I will harder go. for you, Stephen. It's harder sure. for you because sitting outdoors, so it's a little bit, you know, blowy, yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. But we can make an attempt to light with cedars. I will. I think that would be cool. I think I actually have some, mm -hmm. so I will try mm -hmm. it. But if I'm going to show the cube, the pre embargoes, I'll be indoors, but I can't smoke. So if you want to see the pre embargoes, then I won't be smoking next week after the show. <laughs> but before and after the show, that's another story. So there you go. So I'm going to cool. I'm going to split. I'm going to split my <laughs> my my. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to start yeah. trading little. So I bought my cedar stick there, for example. There you go. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the cedar, it's sort of the the flap inside the the, the yep. cigar box in the box, and yep. Just, and, and you just split it, and you get a yep. splinter if you feel. And uh, you take your lighter that you're meant to light your cigar with. You light your cedar, and yep. you've got sort of a consistent semi oily cedary flame. You light right. your cigar with that, and yeah. it's quite elegant. I'll be very honest with you. It's a, it's a it's an elegant way to light, but the problem is it creates a lot of flowy ash, which I think is part of the drama of lighting a cigar. There you go. That's yeah. coming out pretty soon. But that is the way it used to be done. Yeah, and, I like it that uh, way. We and the reason we started talking about this is because now everyone's got the accessories and the different colors and it's, in, you know, yeah. it's engraved and it's enameled and, you know, it goes clean and all that kind of thing. And uh, that's lifestyle. That's that the is a lifestyle. That's that's it's, to some, it's an unnecessary veneer, and to some people, it's a very beautiful veneer. It's just like everything else. There's a a lover and a hater of everything. There you so. go, and and the ability to see both sides of it, I think, is quite yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. One one must see the the full range. I agree. I agree. Ozman, hopefully next week you'll have a better yeah. internet connection because we would love to hear everything you were saying. Um, and then, or you can like have I was the UFOs and the I was merely compensating for Usman's. Uh, even out of yes. I'm not really like yes. this. So I know because you've been serious the last couple of shows. It's kind of, it's like we're not used to it. Yeah, the yeah, fans we, even aren't used to it. They don't know. So, no, but normal, gentlemen, no, no, normal service will resume next week. That's okay, Normal service will resume next week, that, and he's gone again. So now we're going to end the show, and he'll come back, and no one will be here. And now, oh, he's back. We couldn't do that. So let's see if we can get. Yeah, no, he's not connected. He's having problems. No, nope, he is connected. Let's see what happens. There you go. All right, so next week we're going to do pre-embargo Cubans, light the cigars with cedars. Usman's going to get a better internet connection, so he can be really part of the whole show. And maybe we'll have a special guest next week because um, the show will be Saturday um, for those people that can't look at their calendar invites. Um, and uh, we'll be good. And there you go. So, Usman, any last words? Or are you just going to be frozen? I think he'll be frozen. Okay. So, <laughs> I love it. Gentlemen, as always, it's good to see you both. And we'll see you. We'll see all you fans next week. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. We do have a Patreon account. If you want to be a producer on the show, you can click the link and figure out. We'll put your name at the end of every show if you want to be associated with it. We want to thank you all for watching. You can catch us here every Saturday morning live. And in about two hours, which is about 10 o'clock Central Time, 11 o'clock New York time, we will have the podcast out as well as the rebroadcast of the show. And there you go. Riz, it's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Signing out, sir. Cheers, everybody.